Hello guys and welcome in today's video. Today I'm gonna be talking about something really interesting that Gallo has just implemented with the latest build which is the sand type of terrain and physics on the tires and I activated the um, dev build tools and I'm going to activate the physical terrain. This is just a very first implementation of this um, type of terrain, the deep sand terrain. And Gianluca has made a specific track kind of replicating Lommel. If you guys remember, uh, that track is very, very rough, very, very deep sand. So today I'm going to be showing you guys the very first implementation of this new physics for the for the tires and the bike and stuff like that. I'm gonna be giving you my thoughts on it. I've already read some dev testers. I've already had the chance to try it before me. And seems like this isn't a very, very big difference for now, but this is just the very Im first implementation of it. So don't worry guys, Gallo is very, very talented and I'm sure this is gonna come out very sick in the future. But enough with the talking, I'm going to activate it and then I'm gonna spin a couple of laps and I'm gonna be telling you guys how I feel about it, if I feel any differences and what kind of differences I am feeling. Okay, so we activated it. Now let's just minimize this up on the bike. And as you can see guys, this is a very, very basic test track, but it's replicating very good the kind of deep sand tracks that you can find around the world. So. This track is very rutted from the get-go. I've already done a couple of laps on it without the um, the new beta physics for the sand, so I kind of had a good feel of the track without this new uh, implementation. So I'm gonna be giving it a go right now. Also, I like that with the recent updates, the bike really can handle the roughness very well. It's very predictable and we don't have that front end feeling like super floaty anymore. That's very good. So as of right now, I don't really notice any differences. Because I've read that he hasn't made like a huge... Um, like he didn't try to make it too unrealistic from the get-go because what Gallo usually does when he updates stuff to kind of make you feel it better he kind of goes to an extreme point so you can actually feel the differences and then he tones it down until we find a, a good middle spot this time I think he got a little bit more of a careful approach I don't really feel a big difference like the bike definitely feels heavier especially in the roughness like when there are a lot of ruts the bike feels much much heavier but grip wise I don't really feel the front end going away from me like in the sand in the entry of the corners and I still feel like plenty of grip even if I go really hard on the throttle like it really catches grip. And also weight transfer doesn't really punish you right now. So let's say you came in very hard into a corner and your body position wasn't right, you would definitely tuck the front end on a deep sand track like this one. So here that's not happening, so that's something to keep in mind for the future. So far I'm really loving this track layout though. It feels very, very flowy. I would be curious if we, if we could get like um, a smooth version of this one to test better the uh, sand feeling because I feel like this roughness can be deceiving a little bit. But I, I'm not really sure though. As of right now, as I said before, the uh, grip levels feel kind of the same. I feel maybe a little bit more weight of the bike. But I don't know if that's just me like going for like trying my hardest to find something different. The track is looking sick though. And I love that also with the latest dev builds, like the front end now feels very, very planted, very predictable. You don't have that um, kind of sliding feeling, that floaty feeling that you had before, which is very, very nice. 
very good like it's a pleasure to ride let's say I don't really feel like I'm fighting the bike at all times so that's very nice I'm actually trying to ride at a decent pace but I've been spending like most of the time track building so I'm not really that good of a player so please forgive me for that so yeah one one thing that I, I have to say is that the, in the corners you should really slow down like you should really feel like the terrain is holding you back and you could really like get sunk into the terrain so that's definitely something I'm gonna have to tell him is to try and recreate that feeling because deep sand the moment you stop with the throttle is the moment you start getting sucked in by the sand and you start getting all over the places losing your feet, losing your balance so that's something to keep in mind absolutely but guys let me know in the comments what you think about this track because of course I cannot ask you what you think about this physics because you're not actually able to feel them as of yet of course but I'm pretty sure this is gonna be implemented soon the, uh, maybe with another major update so I'm pretty sure this is gonna be one hell of a, a playground for online races for the very hardcore sand fans but to be honest me not being like a very big fan of sand like I've always hated sand in MX sims like in, or in dirt bike games in general as of right now yeah, the difference is not major, but I can feel like with this kind of physics, I can I can see myself really enjoying this type of uh, of riding as well. Oh, oh. Okay, boys, I guess that with this crash, I'm going to end today's video. Let me know in the comments what you think about this new uh, thing that they're implementing in the game what you think about the track and subscribe to the channel boys i will see you in the next one peace